Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class George Norton of the United States Army Marksmanship Unit. I'm very grateful today to show you our Olympic display that we have here. Uh, soldiers from the United States Army Marksmanship Unit travel all around the country to expos, conventions, and even high schools talking about the amazing things that our soldier athletes do in competition to get back to the warfighter. So before I go into my display, I'd like to briefly give you a quick history of shooting at the Olympic Games. So shooting made its debut in Greece at the official Olympic Games in 1892. In 1894, the sport was officially included into the competition program. At this event, athletes shot their rifles in the prone position from a distance of 200 meters. And then the United States Army Marksmanship Unit was established in 1956, and since then, our soldiers have earned 25 individual Olympic medals. 51% of all U.S. Olympic shooters have been affiliated with the U.S. Armed Forces. The first woman to win an Olympic shooting medal was a member of the United States Army Marksmanship Unit, and that's Major Margaret Murdoch, who won the silver medal at the 1976 Olympic three-position rifle event in Montreal. This event was special because it was actually, she didn't compete with just women, she also competed against men. Now, in 1984, the Olympics were in Los Angeles, and there, that was the first time that women competed in their own events. Pat Spurgeon became the first female shooter in history to capture an Olympic gold in the 1984 Games for the USA. Ruby Fox with pistol, and another former member of the United States Army Marksmanship Unit, Ms. Wanda Jewell in rifle, also won medals for the United States in 1984. Now, the Olympic program currently has three shooting disciplines included. They are rifle, pistol, and shotgun, and there are men and women compete in six events, and there are also three mixed team events. So now I'd like to give you a quick tour of our display. Here on my right, you see a great question that says, are you a world-class athlete? So now here at the Home of Champions, we focus primarily on marksmanship, but at the World Class Athlete Program in Fort Carson, Colorado, they have athletes that are with the Army, active duty soldiers, competing in all of these different events and have a hopeful chance of being in the Olympic Games. Now that can just broaden your scope to say, I didn't even know athletes were in the Army. Well, it's probably one of the 150 plus jobs in the Army that you may or may not have known of either. So you definitely want to look into that and see what you might be able to get out of the Army. Here on my left, we see the list of individual medal winners from the Olympics. Starting with Lone Zwigger, he's pretty much the Michael Jordan for rifle in our sport, all the way down to our most recent medal winner in 2012, Mr. Vincent Hancock, taking a gold in skeet. Here in front of us, you'll be able to see actual medals from the Olympic Games that our soldiers have won, starting with a bronze medal here from the Sydney Games uh, that retired Sergeant First Class Todd Graves won in the men's skeet event. Here from Athens in 2004, retired Major Michael Anney of the United States Army Marksmanship Unit took the old silver in the men's three position event. And here from Beijing, we actually had two soldiers take gold in shotgun events there, Mr. Walter Eller and also Mr. Vincent Hancock. So here I've been able to show you some of the amazing things that our warriors have done at the highest level of peak competition, the Olympics. And now I just have one question for you. What's your warrior?